Hello friends, family world, Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make travel videos of different places that we visit since moving from North America to Belfast, Northern Ireland. Today's video, I want to talk about some of the funny slash interesting or unique expressions and vocabulary that Tyler and I have come across since moving to Belfast. Some of these are pretty general across the UK and Ireland, whereas others are a bit more Irish and you would find only in Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. And then some of them are actually very specific to Northern Ireland. Number one is a big one that you hear in Ireland and Northern Ireland, and that is I. People say I a lot, and it's instead of saying yes or yeah. Number two, you okay? When I first moved here, I would hear this at the beginnings of conversations multiple times, even within a single day. And at first I wondered if they were asking me literally, are you okay? And I wondered, do I look like I'm not okay? Do I look sick? Do I look stressed out? Or that I'm not handling myself appropriately? And I eventually got to the point where I found out that people ask you okay, almost like, how are you? Which I'm not used to. So that was a bit of a funny learning period for me. And so now you know, if people in Ireland ask, you okay? It doesn't mean that they're asking, are you okay? They're more asking, how are you? Number three, ok. People say ok a lot. And they kind of use it in the same way that maybe in North America we would say ugh. And so I often hear it when someone's exasperated and they say ok, I don't know. You know, that kind of situation. So ok. Number four, this is a big one in Northern Ireland and Ireland. And that is the word crack. Generally, this means fun but it can be used in so many different situations. It is such a versatile word and you will hear it very frequently. Some examples that I've heard it are, what's the crack or where's the crack? And that would be something like what's going on or where's the good time happening? Or they might say something like, I, they have good crack. And that might be in reference to like a restaurant or a bar having a good vibe. So like a good fun vibe or atmosphere. So don't get mixed up when they say they have good crack. It doesn't mean, like in North America, referencing any illicit drugs. Number five, this is very Northern Ireland specific, is Egypt, which is just their fast and unique Northern Irish accent way of saying idiot. So Egypt. Number six, feckin. I think that one goes without saying. Number seven, grand. People say, oh, that's grand. Also number eight, class, is also another way of saying great or awesome. Grand or class. Faffin about. This is one that I've gathered people say when they're wasting time or not doing anything particularly important or productive. They would just say, oh, last night I was faffin about. Number 10, happy days. People say this here in Belfast all the time. It's just kind of a general expression of that's great or good times. People say, ah, happy days. Number 11, another Northern Ireland one that I hear a lot is so it is or so it was. And it's just kind of a general thing that people say. I don't even really know what it really means. It's just kind of a general affirmation or agreement or a way of someone to respond to someone saying something else to you. Just, you know, someone tells you something and you'll just be like, so it is. And people do it all the time. And I don't even think they notice that they're doing it, but they do. Number 12, this one isn't necessarily an expression or vocabulary item, but it's just something interesting that I think people do a lot of different places in the UK and Ireland. And that's where they say bye repeatedly at the end of a phone conversation. So when you're ending the conversation, they go bye, 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 like as they're going to hang it up. And they don't even think it sounds ridiculous, but to an outsider coming in, I'll call them on it and they'll be like, oh, I didn't even know that I do that. Um, but it's definitely something that a fair amount of people do. Not everyone does it, but you'll definitely come across it here if you hear people getting off of the phone. Number 13, how's the form? This is kind of another way of saying, how's it going or how are you doing? Number 14, dear. 
And in this case, they're referring to expensive. So they'll say something like, I heard that restaurant can be a bit dear. 15, this is a huge one in Ireland. You can barely get through a few sentences without hearing this being thrown out at least once. And that is we, as in little. People say it for everything. Would you like a wee bite? We went on a wee trip. Or give me a wee second. People say it all the time. They don't even realize they're saying it. And I love it. It's actually one of the few things that Tyler and I have found has crept into our conversational speech as well. Most of these things we try not to say because we don't want to seem like we're imitating or making fun of the culture. But we is something that I notice that I incorporate into my everyday language when talking to colleagues and patients without me even thinking about it. So that shows how it creeps into your language even without you knowing it. Number 16, dead on. People say that here a lot. It just means great or good. Number 17, this is an interesting one. It has to do with dates and time and just how they express it differently. So I'll start with time. Instead of saying 9.30, which they do say sometimes, but they are more likely to say half nine. And then another one that took me a while to wrap my head around is how they say dates. So for instance, May 3rd, the way that they say it is the third of the fifth meaning the third day of the fifth month, which has taken me a little bit of time to get my head around, but it actually makes a lot of sense. Number 18, scundered. Scundered, I think, is a specifically Northern Irish word. I don't hear it a ton, but I do hear it every now and then, and it just means drunk. Number 19, again, specific to Northern Ireland, is down south. And what that's referring to is the Republic of Ireland. People will never say, I'm going down to the Republic of Ireland. And also for political reasons, I feel like down south can please everyone in that it's not affirming Northern Ireland as being part of the Republic of Ireland or affirming that it's being part of the UK. It's kind of just a general neutral way of saying, oh yeah, I'm going down south next weekend. Number 20, these are fairly consistent across Ireland and the UK, and I actually am putting a bunch of them into this particular number, and that is different words for food items. So there are a number of different food items that are said differently. The ones that I thought of are gherkin, which is a pickle, beetroot for beet, aubergine for eggplant, courgette for zucchini, crisps for what we would call chips in North America, and then chips here are what we would call fries in North America, biscuit for cookie, sweets for candy, and then this one I find kind of funny, it's not one that you hear all that often, but I just find it's really cute, is candy floss for cotton candy. I'm sure there are other ones that I just can't think of at the moment, but those were the ones that came to mind. Number 21 is not and that is for zero. So sometimes I'll hear people actually using this with phone numbers. So a common way of starting phone numbers here is 028, where I'm used to in North America, I would say 028. Here, you, you don't hear it all the time, but you do sometimes hear people say not 28, for example. Number 22, not one that I've come across too often, but I figured I'd mention it because I find it kind of funny, is rubber. So in North America, we construe someone saying, can you hand me a rubber, as meaning, can you hand me a condom? But here, you would not have that connotation. Don't worry, if someone asks you for a rubber in the UK or Ireland, they are not in fact asking you for a condom, they are asking you for an eraser. Number 23, this is one that I think people here find kind of funny that we say, is that they don't say sidewalk, they find it that very literal and kind of strange. They just say pavement. Number 24 is just sl slight variations on how they say certain words. So we would say aluminum in North America. They say aluminium. They add the extra I in. Another example of this is in North America, we would say specialty and they add another I in and they say speciality. So I found that kind of interesting to hear as well. 
Finally, number 25. This one, I, Tyler and I found so funny when we heard because it has a very different connotation to it here versus back home in North America. And that is how people here use the word moan. Here, moan means just to complain. Whereas in North America, I do find that moan has much more of a sexual connotation to it. And it's especially apparent when people say, instead of a complainer, they say a moaner. So they, they'll they say things like, oh, I'm not much of a moaner, but, and Tyler and I just crack up every time and we explained why, and they are just scandalized that that's how saying I'm not much of a moaner is construed in North America versus how it's construed here in Ireland and the UK. All right, guys, that is it for my video on vocabulary and expressions in Northern Ireland slash Ireland slash the UK. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a like and feel free to subscribe. And by all means, if there are any other words or expressions that you feel are different between the UK, Ireland, Northern Ireland to North America or any other English speaking country, by all means, leave a comment down below and let me know what they are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.